So if you want to learn how to drive, Curtin, you first need to learn how a car works. No, I don't. So I'm just going to pop the hood up like this. Vicar, this is really not necessary. Just because I eat toast doesn't mean I need to know how a toaster works. Now that's the sort of arrogance that will get you killed on the motorway, mate. Right, so this is the coolant reservoir tank. Curtin, you listen? <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Curtin can't stand learning anything new from anyone. Like, he's sort of got to figure it out himself first. Here is the oil. Right. And this is the dipstick. Yeah, I know you are, but what's that? <laughs> this one time, um, I was trying to show him how to get past level five on Theme Hospital, and he ended up throwing a muller corner at me, and it hit me right there. And I actually still have the scar there. Look, I don't know if you can see it. And um, ironically, the corner of the muller corner hit me right in the corner of my cornea. And I was standing in the corner of the room when it happened. I mean, spooky or what? This is going to be a brilliant day. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to get my hands on that wheel. Oh, good. Can I drive us to airfield? Uh, no, Curtin, you can drive when we get there. Right. I've, um... Just got to quickly pop round to June's. June's? Why? I can't stand that woman. I won't come in if that's OK. Well, I've just got to return a sprinkler, as I borrowed from her. Oh, OK, you just do it on the way back? Well, uh, no, because she's, she's quite insistent she needs it now. She's opening her garden to the public tomorrow. I beg your pardon? She's doing one of those open garden things. I beg your pardon? She's doing one of those open garden things, you know. Do you hear this? I already knew, but I didn't say anything because I knew you'd react like this. Oh, she's got some nerve, isn't she? Like, a garden know. is that good? Do you know what? That makes my blood absolutely boil. Why? Oh, it's just the sheer arrogance of it. It is arrogant in a way. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I disagree. I think it's a lovely thing to do. June has a lovely garden. Unbelievable. She's charging. She's charging? What's the money going towards? Her garden. Her garden, her garden. Uh, right, sprinkler, please, Curtin. Thanks. Thank you. Right, I'll be back in two seconds. I am absolutely... Uh, Look how much I'm shaking with rage, Care. I cannot believe she is charging the mission night. It's a fucking Eden project. Yeah. That's despicable. She is ghastly, that woman. Mm. Look at her. Do you know what? What? One of my earliest ever memories, right? Mm-hmm. Is I was at the open air pool and I was in the changing rooms and June was in there, right? And her towel dropped for like a second. I actually saw her pubes. And they were like, really long and wiry, and I remember thinking at the time they looked exactly like the roots on a parsnip. What are you doing? Having to play around. <sighs> Fuck it, I could just drive us to airfield now. <sighs> yeah, but you won't. Well, I can. You can, she didn't know how to drive a car. Uh, I do know how to drive a car. Not that Vicar, you don't. Uh, he, he's only in the car for me for for insurance purposes. I could rack it round the village right now. No, you can't, because you don't even know how to get in the first. Of course I know how to get in the first. How, then? Clutch down into first. Yeah, how does first go? Cross? Oh, fuck, it's Mandy. Oh, fuck, fuck. Keep your head down. She's she, as well. What's she pointing for? Oh, all right, man. All right. Yeah. Where you where you been in, in the town? Have you? 
Yeah. Just on your uh, way back from town, are you? Yeah. Cool. What's in that bag? Well, this? Yeah. That's just a brick and a pillowcase. OK. I think we've got to go, actually. There's a no-waiting zone here. See you, man. What are you doing? Getting away from that fucking nutcase. Captain! Oh fuck. Oh fuck, it's a dead end. <coughs> oh! Fuck. You stalled? Yes, I know I fucking stalled. Reverse, going to reverse. Ka! Yes. Reverse. How? Go into there. reverse, that's it, down like that. Yeah. Right, check your mirrors. Go round like this. That's it, that's it. That's it. That's it, keep going. Going. You've got plenty of room, plenty of room. Plenty. Ah! Oh, fuck! What was that? What was that? Recycling. Oh, for Just get out of the car. Get out of the fuck's sake. Put the handbrake on then. He's on. For fuck's sake. Right, you've got plenty of room here. Plenty of room. Right, that's it. What? Vehicle's coming. Car's the wrong way around. Huh? Car's the wrong way around. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, my God, it's too late to turn it around. It's gonna go away. Don't shit. fucking say anything. You can't have a go at me, I'm just an innocent passenger. Sorry about that, folks. Oh. I was trying to make it quick, but Arthur wanted me to help him with this sky box. And, unfortunately, he hasn't seen Len either. So... Is everything right? Yeah, fine. Right. Uh, I've actually been working with Len, uh, helping him get back on his feet. Um, a few weeks ago, he hit rock bottom and I stepped in and we've literally uh, had to start from scratch. But the progress he's made has been fantastic. Here he is. Come on, come in, come on. Wow, who's this handsome young man? Len. Len's been staying with me temporarily until the council find him some new accommodation. But we got him scrubbed up, a change of clothes, new attitude. Oh, we, we, we had a bit of a rocky patch at the start, though, didn't we, Len? No. Yes, you, you were a little bit rude to Polly for the first few days, weren't you? No, I weren't. Oh, OK, well, well, agree to disagree on that, but everyone's getting on well now, which is great. People think that being alone makes you lonely, but I don't think that's true. Being surrounded by the wrong people is the loneliest thing in the world. I hope you're not thinking Polly when you say that, Len. I've also enrolled Len into a computer club every Wednesday called Silver Surfers, which he's really enjoying. Uh, it's a weekly session where we teach older members of the village computer skills, hence Silver Surfers. Uh, I came up with the name. Yes, I was quite proud of that. Can, can, I, can I get on to Safari? Oh, well, what's wrong with Internet Explorer? Yeah, I've been helping out at Silver Surfers. Uh, works out quite well because uh, Vicar needs my help to teach people the computer and I need access to the internet to make my memes. Uh, basically, Nan unplugged the Wi-Fi here because she reckons the electromagnetic waves are making me infertile <sighs> and she's desperate for great-grandchildren. <sighs> so where are the emails on this thing? So, well, <laughs> this is Facebook, so it's a completely different thing. Oi, Len! We're not the same. What? You know they don't deliver emails on a Sunday? 
Arthur, please. They don't what? They don't deliver emails on a Sunday, Len. What, do they not? What <laughs> is he? Digital don't. dinosaur or what? Listen, right? Stop lining up, Len. I told a vicar about your internet search history. What? Big jugs ring any bells? Yeah. I need big jugs to hold me orchids up straight. So what do you need to shave fanny for, then? Yeah, I just decided uh, I'm going to have a sleepover at Curtin's tonight. I just don't really want to be at home at the moment, so... So I really want to go somewhere where I'll know I'll feel welcome. This is really massively inconvenient, Gary, and massively late notice. I'm sorry, Karen. Nan will go apoplectic if she knows you're staying the night. She's at Farm Foods now, so you've literally got an hour to practice keeping your clod hopping and your fog horning down to an absolute minimum, OK? Um, okie dokie. Even in the casual way in which you just said okie dokie makes me think you don't understand the seriousness of the situation. I do, Kurt. Get fog horning, Kerry. When you think you've taken it down a notch, take it down another four notches, please. OK. All right, come in and go straight upstairs. My nan cannot stand Kerry. She don't like house guests at the best of times, but she just thinks Kerry's completely out of control. This one time, Kerry left some Pringle shards on the arm of the sofa. Yeah, you don't come back from that. And rightly so. Where's my squash? We're sharing this one. Otherwise, she'll know there's two cups missing from the cupboard. Can I have a look? Yes. Thank but ration it, I ain't getting you any more. Mmm. She's back. Lee, my love! Yes? You coming down for a matter? Yes, one second, Nan. Right. Can you be trusted up here on your own? Because I've got to go downstairs. Natter? What does she mean by natter? Just... We natter, we have a cup of tea, we do it every evening. OK? A lot like chatting, then. No, nattering. Big difference. What's the difference? Chatting is like a conversation. Nattering is when you flitter between subjects without having to give it a proper introduction or link them to anything. OK? What were you natter about? Well, I don't know. Wherever nattering takes us. OK? Just... Coming down. The problem with Curtin is he's just an old woman trapped in the body of a young man. Actually, that's wrong, because he's also got the body of an old woman. So he's just an old woman trapped in the body of an old woman. Oh, no. She's left her mansion to crumble to bloody ruins. Yeah. All those pets and horses and what have you. God, I thought Spring Watch was so poor this evening. Oh, yes. No point in having an autocam. They cut to autocam for only like two seconds. No, no. Lidl's tea bags may be cheap, but they're bloody useless. Yeah. Mm. Do you know where I've always wanted to go? Where? Scotland. Mm -hmm. I've never been to bloody Scotland. 